A nonprofit organization on the North Shore named Ski Dogs is helping those with disabilities carve it up on the water, something that many of them thought was never going to be something they were able to do. And today they spent the morning and afternoon outside of Bush, and it was a day to remember. For those of us that have spent a day on the lake, try to remember water skiing for the first time. The adrenaline rush you felt when the boat pulled you to the top of the surface, the water misting your face, and the wind blowing through your hair. But for those that deal with life-altering disabilities as well as their parents, many believe days like this might never exist. I did not. When I saw it, immediately I knew I needed to reach out to them. Ski Dogs specializes in adaptive water skiing for those with disabilities from almost every medical background paraplegics, amputees, spina bifida, or even traumatic brain injuries. And they also take kids with muscular dystrophy and Down syndrome. This is their ski, a seat perfectly placed on a ski-like surfboard, sandwiched in between two more skis for safety. And the entire time, helpers are following the rider like a hawk on sea dews just in case he or she falls off. And then once it gets on top of the water, David Thomas, who is the co-founder of the group, is paralyzed as well, which inspired this passion. After starting the organization in 2018, they put on three incredible events just like this every year. And it's a date so many look forward to for so many reasons. It's a hope of, you know, I don't have to just sit around the house or, uh, you know, watch TV all the time or, you know, something. It gives you something to look forward to. Trenton Bradley was paralyzed after an ATV accident in Oklahoma in 2011, and Ski Dogs has become his outlet after first attending last fall. So I come in September, and it was it was just the most amazing experience I've had since you know my accident. And for others like Abby Ross, who was born with spina bifida, this was her way of breaking down mental barriers and bonding with her father, who also shares a love for the lake. I didn't wear a bathing suit for a really long time because I was afraid to show my braces and to show what I look like. So for him and I, this experience is more than just being out on the water and skiing. It's a confidence builder for me. But the truth is, an event like this does just as much for the moms and dads of those kids. You know, it's not just the, the, the look on the kids' faces, um, it's the look on the parents' faces. You know, we, we have the parents come in and they get so emotional seeing their child doing something that they never thought they'd see again. You see them when they leave and they might be a little apprehensive, they might have a little fear on their face, but when they come back, they have a smile on their face that you just can't get rid of. It was a pleasure to be able to tell that story. Go and look them up on Facebook. Ski Dogs Adaptive Water Skiing is their Facebook page. They are good people out there doing great stuff. That does it for us in sports. Andrew Doak, Eyewitness Sports.